The economy overall hadn't worked. The economy overall it hadn't worked. Because Wall Street didn't build this country. You, great middle class, built this country. And unions built the middle class. And it's time. <clears throat> and this time, when we rebuild the middle class, we're going to bring everybody along. Regardless of your background, your color, your religion, no matter, everybody gets to come along. So today, I'm proposing a plan for the nation that rewards work, not just rewards wealth. It builds a fair economy that gives everybody a chance to succeed. And it's going to create the strongest, most resilient, innovative economy in the world. It's not a plan that tinkers around the edges. It's a once-in-a-generation investment in America. Unlike anything we've seen or done since we built the interstate highway system and the space race decades ago. In fact, it's the largest American jobs investment since World War II. It will create millions of jobs, good-paying jobs. It will grow the economy, make us more competitive around the world, promote our national security interests, and put us in a position to win the global competition with China in the upcoming years. It's big, yes. It's bold, yes. And we can get it done. It has two parts, the American Jobs Plan and the American Families Plan. Both are essential to our economic future. In a few weeks, I'll talk about the Americans' Family Plan. But today, I want to talk about the Americans' Jobs Plan. I'll begin with the heart of the plan. It modernizes transportation infrastructure our roads, our bridges, our airports. I just left your airport. The director of the airport said, we're about to re renovate the airport. Is that right, Mr. County Executive? We're going to renovate. We're going to employ thousands of people. And she looked at me and said, I can't thank you enough for this plan. It grows the economy in key ways. It puts people to work to repair and upgrade so that we badly need. It makes it easier and more efficient to move goods, to get to work, and to make us more competitive around the world. Some of you local officials know when someone wants to come in the area and a company wants to invest, what do they ask? Where's the first rail bed? How can I get to the railroad? What access to the interstate do I have? What's the water like? Tell me about it. It goes on and on. It's about infrastructure. The American Jobs Plan will modernize 20,000 miles of highways, roads, and main streets that are in difficult, difficult shape right now. It will fix the nation's 10 most economically significant bridges in America that require replacement. Remember that bridge that went down? We got 10 most economically significant bridges with more commerce going across it that need to be replaced. We'll also repair 10,000 bridges, desperately needed upgrades to unclog traffic, keep people safe, and connect our cities, towns, and tribes across the country. The American Jobs Plan will build new rail corridors and transit lines, easing congestion, cutting pollution, slashing commute times, and opening up investment in communities that can be connected to the cities and cities to the outskirts where a lot of jobs are these days. It will reduce the bottlenecks of commerce at our ports and our airports. The American Jobs Plan will lead to a transformational progress in our effort to tackle climate change with American jobs and American ingenuity, protect our community from billions of dollars of damage from historic superstorms, floods, wildfires, droughts, year after year by making our infrastructure more secure and resilient and seizing incredible opportunities for American workers and American farmers in a clean energy future. Skilled workers, like one we just heard from, building a nationwide network of 500,000 charging stations, creating good-paying jobs by leading the world in the manufacturing and export of clean electric cars and trucks, 
We're going to provide tax incentives and point-of-sale rebates, re re rebates to help all American families afford clean vehicles of the future. The federal government owns an enormous fleet of vehicles, which are going to be transitioned to clean electric vehicles and hydrogen vehicles right here in the United States of America by American workers with American products. When we make all of these investments, we're going to make sure, as the executive order I signed early on, that we buy American. That means investing in American-based companies and American workers. Not a contract will go out that I control that will not go to a company that is an American company with American products all the way down the line and American workers. And we'll buy the goods we need from all of America, communities that have historically been left out of these investments. Black, Latino, Asian American, Native Americans, rural, small businesses, entrepreneurs across the country. Look, today, up to 10 million homes in America and more than 400,000 schools and child care centers have pipes where they get their water from, pipes that are lead-based pipes, including pipes for drinking water. According to scientists, there is simply no safe exposure to lead for a child. Lead can slow development, cause learning behaviors, and hearing problems. The American Jobs Plan will put plumbers and pipe fitters to work, replacing 100 percent of the nation's lead pipes and service lines. So every American, every child, can turn on a faucet of a fountain and drink clean water. With each $5,000 investment replacing a line that can mean up to $22,000 in health care costs saved, a chance to protect our children, help them learn and thrive. We can't delay. We can't delay another minute. It's long past due. You know, in America, where the early interest was in internet, this thing called the internet that we invested. We, in, we, in, we invented the early, early internet. It was invented here. Millions of Americans, though, lack access to reliable high-speed internet, including more than 35 percent of rural America. It's a disparity even more pronounced during this pandemic. American jobs will make sure every single, every single American has access to high-quality, affordable, high-speed internet for businesses, for schools. And when I say affordable, I mean it. Americans pay too much for internet service. We're going to drive down the price for families who have service now and make it easier for families who don't have affordable service to be able to get it now. As we saw in Texas and elsewhere, our electrical power and power grids are vulnerable to storms, catastrophic failures, and security lapses with tragic results. My American Jobs Plan will put hundreds of thousands of people to work, hundreds of thousands of people to work, line workers, electricians, and laborers, laying thousands of miles of transmission line, building a modern, resilient, and fully clean grid, and capping hundreds of thousands of, or, literally, orphan oil and gas wells that need to be cleaned up because they're abandoned, paying the same exact rate that a union man or woman would get having dug that well in the first place. We'll build, upgrade, and weatherize affordable, energy-efficient housing and commercial buildings for millions of Americans. Even before the pandemic, millions of working families faced enormous, enormous financial and personal strain trying to raise their kids and care for their parents at the same time, the so-called sandwich generation or family members with disability. You've got a child at home. You can't stay home from work to take care of that child unless you lose you're going to have the child's at risk or you lose your job. 
or you have an elderly parent you're taking care of. And seniors and people with disabilities living independently feel that strain as well. But we know if they can remain independently living, they live longer. The American Jobs Plan is going to help in big ways. It's going to extend access to quality, affordable home community-based care. It's 